Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today we're gonna be doing the rear speakers. Since I got the back, yeah, when I had, came in from Crutchfield here, got ourselves a kickers to match the speakers up in the front. So what we got here, the six and a half, 300 watt, 100 watt RMS kickers. Good thing with these, came with the attacher brackets. You're gonna need these. You'll see why once I show you the speakers in the back. All right, it's got your harness here, everything that you need. All you're gonna do is do the installation yourself. You're set, that's everything. Let's get this started. First step is going to be to let the seats down here. Let's go ahead and find out where the rivets are that we're gonna have to remove so we can go ahead and expose this back piece here so we can see the speakers. Uh, excuse that back there. But yeah, there you go. Oh, sorry about that. So there's one tab right there to remove, two tabs right there. Sorry about the sun. Tab right there and a tab up there. All right guys, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and get back in here, get your handy dandy pry tool here. If you don't got one of these, definitely need one. This Helps out a lot, a lot. So you want, then you'll be as gentle as possible with it. Drop that one, drop that guy right there, and let's work our way back to this side. Gonna get that one, and then we're gonna get that other one right there. As soon as I get that off, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna start with this top pillar. Right up here is where you're gonna start prying down. Undo these clamps that are here. That should loosen up this right here so we could remove the the back panel here all right guys well with a little fighting i was able to get it out actually what you got to do is just bring it up right on over that as soon as you bring it on over if you can see it's already loose it's gonna come out i only undid one side you don't have to undo this pillar you can wiggle it out you see you can just wiggle it out it's gonna take a little bit of force don't be scared let me show you guys what we got. Let's see. Kind of like. Guys, if you see this, this is movable. This moves. This will allow this to come up and out. No big deal. See? Pull it out. Up. Oh, it's a little stuck. Don't worry. Pull it out. You got it. There you go. Alright, alright guys, so once I pulled that off, notice that there is, I want to say, I guess you call this the amplifier that's back here? Not 100% sure if that is, says Continental on there. Uh, I mean, possibly that's the amp. Here's where the sub would be. Here are these six and a halves. Six and three quarters, not too sure. Well, Let's go ahead and pull these on. Let me show you what we got. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. So we've got these kickers to pull them on now. That's why you do this in one hand here. Work tools. Let's give us a minute here. Let's see if this looks. All right, guys. So we've got these on. I'm going to check this out here. Man, that's a good looking speaker right there. So you've got a nice looking grill. I actually have a set of these on another vehicle of mine, so I have tested them before. Worked great, it's great sound quality. So guys, this is everything that it comes with. You got your speakers here, speaker wires, screws, the actual speaker itself. Pretty good quality. I mean, for the price range, nothing fancy. I don't got any additional lamps, anything. I mean, for the basic radio that it has, this will work just fine. All right, guys, so once you go ahead and get back into the speaker here, this is gonna be an eight millimeter. Go ahead and loosen the three up. Let's go match up the pattern here, speaker pattern, bolt pattern, however you wanna call it, uh, to the aftermarket kickers that we're gonna go ahead and install, get them right, pull this one out, be back in, hopefully with some more thumping, 
louder, clearer, crisper, amazing sound. All right, guys, screws are out. Here's the moment of truth. Let's find out. Let's see what these things are all about. Or they may be a little bit glued on there, stuck on there, huh? Okay, I guess let me grab a flathead and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got the pry tool. It is going to take a little bit of force to get this out. If you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But that's the glue coming off. So this sucker is in there pretty damn tight so you're gonna have to get something to wedge it out but it will come out there you go there it is he is out disconnected from our harness here we'll be good to go where's the harness back there cool should be simple hit a button i'm sure here or here unlock it let's see if i can do it yeah see that's simple Go ahead and you just push it down with this little button. Pry it on out. Let's see what the speaker's all about here. It's kind of glued here. Well, this is made in China. It has a little Chrysler emblem on it. I don't think, I don't see anything that says Alpine. I mean, I do see it's blue in there. Uh, I mean, the, the cone isn't paper like the front ones but i don't think that this is top notch alpine quality right here i'll tell you what so let's go ahead and get these replaced all right guys so after i don't know a few minutes of attempting this i finally got two on if you can see it's being held on there and on that other side what's holding it that tiny little screw that not even the washer in that nut Okay, this is, I mean, barely, I don't even know how that's hanging on there. In any shipment, it's gonna come out. Yeah, I mean, so this is supposed to come out, fit it like this. You slip the screw in through the bottom here, and you put the nut on top, and that's supposed to work. I don't know how confident I feel that that's gonna work. Ran to the store, got me some super glue. I think the best bet is that I'm gonna have to glue the trim ring on there. Then maybe put these screws back on there, I guess maybe for some additional support, if anything. But I feel a lot safer super gluing it so it doesn't come loose at some point. Then you have to get back in there, rip the car apart again, just to fix the problem. So let's do it right the first time, guys. Come back once I get it wrapped up. All right, guys, so we got one done here. You know what I'm doing is I'm coming back in on some pliers and I'm tightening these up as best as I can just so it holds it down as tight as possible and it's in there pretty snug i need to try to get this one a little bit closer in looks pretty good guys i mean it does take a little bit of time it's a bit tedious to try to line up these little washers right here i mean look at that the really crunch feel needs to check out what they're sending try putting it on their speakers i don't know how they did it on theirs maybe they got some special tool or something but those screws need to just be a tad bit bigger all right guys so time got away from us it's nice and dark outside already as you can see there last step here just gonna go ahead and put some sound detonating material in there hopefully keep the vibration down the speakers all nice and connected got the plug all set up it's the old speaker back there so yeah throw this in try to snap a few pics uh hopefully it comes out looking good all right guys check it out it's the finished product Put some dynamat in there just in case we had a woofer or sometime in the future. This sucker will be ready to bump. Came out pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Hope you all enjoyed. Catch you on the next one.